Risk is um, a really interesting concept, actually. Um, it seems to me that um, you can't really learn un unless you take a risk. But the problem is we live in a kind of culture that is, uh, promotes risk averseness. Uh, and, and I think higher education over the last um, 20 odd years, I think, has been moving in that direction as well, around you know, very kind of rigid ways, you know, these are learning objectives and even the way we assess, um, and uh, particularly I think a university like the University of Arts London thrives on uh, encouraging risk uh, and taking risks. And I think uh, in nature as well, you find that, um, you know, in some senses, part of the natural world is is the risk and you know I'm a kind of firm believer that learning is a natural process you know I was thinking that uh, you know birds that navigate the planet and travel you know many distances probably you know have never been to a, a class on how to navigate and so something about their own nature gets kind of as, as it were um, developed within those risky environments and clearly I'm not saying that we should uh, uh, create such risk that, uh, you know, that in itself can inhibit uh, somebody's learning. But I think we kind of, we need to take more risks. I think that's another really interesting one because I think the neoliberalisation, you know, the commodification of higher education, again, makes students become less risk averse because, uh, you know, they're kind of, they're entering the, the process uh, being told, uh, you know, well, but first of all, they've got these huge debts, debt burdens that they're going to carry. But being told that if you, uh, in, in a kind of performative sense, if you do these things, that then you might get these returns uh, into a kind of utilitarian uh, idea about education being about getting a job, uh, which again I think then squeezes them, squeezes the kind of maybe the desire, the passion uh, to do something different, to kind of you know. Be, be transformed and do something transformative. Well, I, I mean, I think it's interesting that it's called changing mindsets, and um, that in itself maybe could work against risk because, you know, change almost is part of a managerial kind of language. You know, organisational change, change. And maybe we need to shift it towards maybe, you know, I don't know, creative mindsets or a language that promotes, it kind of encourages students to, uh, as I say, go off the beaten track. I wrote a paper, it was a paper in a, in a book that I published a few years ago, which was about, I talk, we use the, the metaphor of the sat-nav education systems. I think in some senses that's what we've done in universities. Is not saying that we shouldn't support students and we shouldn't scaffold, that's really important, you know, and not least if students are going to be paying uh, so much then we can't really... You know, I think radical non-interventionism probably wouldn't kind of stick with the students. Um, but I think what we do need to do is we need to, we need to enable spaces to emerge where students are encouraged. And, and I'm saying encouraged because I think we've kind of weaned this out of them to, you know, go off the beaten track, to get lost. I mean, the whole point of, of, of life is not to get from A to B in the shortest possible time without thinking about the journey. It's the journey that's the point of life. But I think we've kind of reduced life to end points, beginnings and ends, rather than the in-between. <laughs>